Hi, this is Linda Rogers from Planning Within Reach. I want to talk to you about short-term rentals. So we have quite a few clients and friends that are renting their homes in San Diego through VRBO, Airbnb, or HomeAway, and they're using that extra income to pay down their mortgage faster, so pay less in interest overall, to increase their savings, and to do home upgrades that they otherwise could not afford. I think it is a great idea, but you need to be aware of a few factors. Number one, be aware of your local rules and regulations. For example, in San Diego, it explicitly states what needs to be done if you want to rent out your home for a short period of time. You might need to get a business tax certificate. You may need to pay different taxes and assessments called TOT and TMD. The rental sites that you use may or may not deduct that for you and go ahead and pay it to the city. So these are things that you just need to look out for, be aware of, and we can help. With regards to taxes, we have a tax preparer who's knowledgeable on these different issues. For example, any income that you get, you have to pay tax on unless it is explicitly excluded by the IRS. There is an exclusion where if you rent out your home for 14 days or less, you do not have to pay taxes on it. You can't deduct any of the expenses associated with that activity but you don't have to pay income on that. So if you want to rent out your home for a week during Comic-Con, for example, while you're on vacation somewhere else, you do need to not need to claim that income, even if you get a letter from the IRS, because some of the home sharing sites will um, remit their transactions to the IRS. So you may get a letter saying, hey, you didn't claim this income, but you just need to then respond with a letter explaining the exclusion. With regards to logistics, you want to speak to who is renting your home beforehand. You can do that over chat, over video, but just be honest, explain what they can touch, what they can't touch, things about the area, the neighborhood, whatever they need to know because that will affect your reviews. Buy locks, lock up the doors, the drawers that you want to put things they cannot have access to. With goes, which goes to insurance. So some of the home sites will offer insurance that you can um, use and that will cover you, but I we recommend that you go ahead and call your insurance provider that covers your home, let them know what you're doing, see if there's any additional coverage that you need to do and get, and they will explain if it makes sense for you to get a landlord policy, for example, if you're renting your home out a lot or for extended period of stays, you want to be upfront and honest with them again, even if you have to pay more premiums, just to make sure that you're covered if something terrible happens. So I hope that helps. Again, this has been a way that a lot of people we know are making extra income, but you want to be smart about it and make sure you're following the rules and regulations so you don't get caught with an unexpected bill. We're planning within reach. We're based in San Diego. Our focus is investors that are interested in impact investing, but we can also help with your financial planning and tax needs. So please reach out with questions.